Hi, welcome back to the video series progressing from Excel to R. So the VLOOKUP. If you are an Excel user worth your salt, you probably already know this backwards and forwards. And if you're a superpower user, you probably know all about the index match and why it's superior. But for now, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to stick to the concept and we'll look at how to make VLOOKUPs happen in R and make that accessible to you through an Excel lens. So the purpose of the Excel's VLOOKUP is to bring over a piece of data from one table to another based on two fields the two have in common. The V in VLOOKUP stands for vertical, which means the lookup is based on a column, but not a row. In this video, I'm going to show you R's method for the VLOOKUP, and we'll also look side by side at the Excel version. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring up our data. So in Excel, we have it in a table like so. Um, this is basketball data going from 2003 to 2017. This is regular season NCAA data. So this is a great data set, um, but one thing that is kind of an issue with it is that you can't really see offhand who the winning and who the losing, losing teams are. And that's because these are just using an ID right here. Um, the rest of the data you can see are pretty much uh, game stats for each game. It's really, really a neat data set. And we may get into this data set in particular in a later video. So here we also have a, another table, and this is the table that has the ID for the team name in it. So just like we had this four-digit ID in winning team and same for losing team, we have the team names here. So if we want to create a full data set, we're going to have to use the VLOOKUP in Excel. Now, besides the Excel way of doing things, we may have the exact same problem in R. So in this case, I'm using an R notebook just to make the side-by-side -side comparison easy. Um, so I got my data here, and I have basically the season data is the same as you see on this tab, and the team names is the same as you see on this tab. So the first thing you're going to do when you make an V lookup um, in Excel, and I'm going to create a new column here so that we can have the team name next to the team ID. So I'm going to put W team name and the first thing in Excel is you call the VLOOKUP function and you give the cell to index and you tell it where to look. Lock those in. Oh, didn't work. Lock those guys in. That means we're not going to move. If we move the cells, um, the index will be the same. And then we tell them how far to walk over, which is two spots. And then we want an exact match, so we'll use the false argument there. So that gives us our team name for the first winning team, which is Alabama. Um, and what we would do to make this a full VLOOKUP in Excel is just go ahead and drag it all the way down. I think I might have missed a cell. There you go. So we, we just copy it all the way down. And we could do the same thing for losing team as well. But in, X, in, in R, we're going to do something a little bit different. The R method for doing VLOOKUPs is basically to take this table, take this table and smash them together on the correct ID and do not duplicate this ID field. And if that's a little confusing, if you know SQL, it's very, very much the same as the join in SQL. So in this case, I'm going to call it our season data. I'm just going to call it season data one for now. So we're going to call the merge function, which is a built-in function to R. You don't need any extra special libraries to use this uh, function. So the merge function takes as many, takes two um, initial variables, which are going to be the two different uh, data sets that it wants to use. So I'm going to put in season data and team names. Now I'm going to specify which fields we want to merge on. And obviously, they're going to be different. So I have a team ID here, and here I have a W team. So for W team, I'm going to have to put by.x equals W team. And notice I say x, what this argument does is it uses the x is the first argument you get, 
and the y is the second argument you get. So now I'll do by dot y equals team ID. And now it should know which variables it's going to uh, use for the VLOOKUP. Now, there are some differences here. This is obviously a merge function. So if I had any extra columns in my team names here, um, I would, R would actually bring those over as well. It'll bring everything that's not the joining ID over and combine it with this other data set in the final data. And we might not even want that. So what you can do if you have a data set with more columns that you want in your final data set is you can simply subset this data set by using the subset syntax. So what I'm going to do here, I'm giving the comma separator in the middle of these brackets. And what this means is that on this side, tell me what rows you want me to keep. And on this side, tell me what columns you want me to keep. Well, I want to keep all the rows, so I'm going to leave that part blank. And now I'm going to give it a vector with the column names that I want to keep. In this case, I'm just going to give it the current two, two names that it has. So team ID for the ID and team name. All right, now, as I was saying, the merge is also just a little bit different as a function. In the VLOOKUP, if it's going to look up a team name and I had some duplicate here, it would give me the first entry. Like if I did this and let's say I added, and I called this, you know, random U. Well, it would give me Appalachian State anytime there was a team ID 11111, and it would never give me a random U because my index starts at A and it goes all the way down to B, you know, 70,000 or whatever, and the random U would always be the second one it checked. So it always it always give me as soon as it found a match, it would always give me the match. What X what R does is it merges, and if it finds two it's going to create two duplicate lines. So it would give me a whole new line with my season data with the name random U and then a whole nother line with my season data and the name errors and the name Appalachia state. So that's one key distinction. And it, what it really means is that if you're going to use this as a V lookup, you have to make sure that the team and team name table is distinct in the ID. So with that said, there's one more characteristic that I want to point out. In VLOOKUPs, if let's say Alabama is not there, well, the VLOOKUP is going to just return the error, NA. In merge, the default is to leave it out. So that doesn't have to happen, but that's because it's sort of a merge function and it understands that you want the net similarity between these two data frames. But what we can do to get the exact same functionality as Excel is put all.x, which means give me all.x whether there's a match or not, equal to true. And that way, even if there's an issue, we won't lose any of the data from our first data frame. All right, so now I'll go ahead and run the last data. And it looks like it ran without any errors. And I'll go ahead and print out our result. So there we have our final result. If we scroll all the way over, we can see that it did in fact bring over the team name. Um, it sorted it first so that we have 1101 at the beginning and it gave us the Abilene Christian College. Now, one more point to illustrate. So notice that we also have the L team here, and we could also bring in the L team's ID. Well, in Excel, that'd be just as simple as creating a new column and doing the exact same VLOOKUP. In fact, if we bring this over, it should work out just the exact same for us. In R, it's a little bit different, because keep in mind, it's a merge-based function. So if I wanted to do that, what I could do is just highlight this data and basically create a new uh, merge function. And what I can also do is just basically update the data set that we have at the beginning. 
snag that real quick, uh, update this name, and instead of the buy equals W team, I'll do buy equals L team, so that we know that we're actually joining season data on the L team. Now, I didn't specify the name of the incoming function, of the incoming column, rather. And notice over here, it gave us the team name, which is the same name it has in this data set. And R is not going to let us have the same data uh, name twice, which is a good thing. So if I run this, we'll see that R kind of came up with a solution on its own. So in this case, we go over here, and it turned the team name into team name dot x, and the next one the team name dot y. So Next, all it would take is to run a names function, and we could update those names for the X to be the winning team and the Y to be the losing team. So there you have it. That's the gist of the VLOOKUP alternative in R. Again, it's not the exact same function, but if you ever need to look up a key value pair, it's a very easy way to do it from R. So that's it for this video. I'll uh, see you next time in the next video in this series. And we'll keep on looking for ways that an Excel user can transition into R easily, simply, and smartly. Till next time, have a great day.